So, this is your host, Steve, from the back, <laughs> as always. So, I, I recently got a, uh, so, I thought I would go on a, um, a rant about this because, to me, this is a significant thing. To me, this is like a very profound thing. And, you know, I always look at it like a lot of times people look at things and they don't really understand the necessity for something. Or they don't really understand the, uh, the depth of a deeper meaning to things. And they also don't really understand... Now, I, I, in this video, I don't really know what I'm gonna, what type of video I'm gonna label this as, or what type of rant, because this is not really a video, this is more of just an audio rant. rant. Um, what I'm really trying to say is, like, I don't know what to, like, label this as, but I am going to, <laughs> I am going to get a little, a little deep and a little philosophical with this rant. In, in kind of explain a couple things so first I'm going to explain like when you think of existence right you know like if I was to tell a person um, if I was to say just just name a bunch of names of things that is relevant to the word existence right someone will start saying like just just crazy shit like they'd be like uh, Nikes, um, candy bar, uh, concrete, store, car, motorcycle, t-shirt, right, flower. Like, they, they'll just name a bunch of random stuff in existence, obviously, you know, like, uh, cloud, wind, uh, water, uh, squirrel, you know, because these are things that we generally, duh, you know what I mean? These are things that any normal person's seen a thousand times in their life, right, like, Everybody's seen a picture of water, even if you've never been in open water, you've seen a picture of it, obviously, right? You've seen it on TV. Anyone knows what a shoe is, as whether it's a boot sneaker. People, because you always wear shoes, most people don't go outside barefoot. If you, you know, so you, you get what I'm saying. You already know, unless you're like a some type of toddler or something. You know what, you just, just your mind is always going to think of those like classic images that were taught to you in school. But obviously in your daily life you see them all the time because they're incredibly mundane and they're they're incredibly usual like for instance everyone knows what a dog is everyone is going to talk about you know a cigarette because people are always, always smoking you know, a cigarette uh t-shirt like i said you know brush dog uh, leash car bike right these are stupid little common stupid little things that everyone sees in their neighborhood, everyone, it doesn't matter if you're in a, in a neighborhood, hood, hood, city, country, these are all the mundane, boring things that we all know, we all see, duh, right? But then I have to also, this is what I mean about going deeper, right? This is the more, the deeper thing about this. Now, this in this video, I'm going to talk about the claw. You know, like, when I say the claw, I mean claws in general. And I mean symbol the symbolism behind the claw and the functionality of a claw in the motion the for and the form of a claw, right? Why is it so important? Someone will say, oh, well, <laughs> yeah, like, why is that important by any means? nothing's really important it's just what i'm doing is i'm trying to explain something to you right i'm just trying to explain something so you think so you so you see the significance in it rather than just overlook it and just be like yeah yeah you know so one the human nail is technically is a claw it's a very poor claw it's a very adapted claw it's a very modernized claw. It's it's modernized, meaning it's it's made so that you don't hurt yourself. It's made so that you can do more 
commonly human intricate type of tasks that involve you having a weak, flat nail that allows you to do things like scratch your eyes, allows you to do weird things that we've developed actually, like put on fake nail lashes, a lot of girls and some men even put on fake nail, uh, no, eyelashes, that's right, eyelashes. It allows you to do those things without, <laughs> you know, without scratching your eye. You know, it's like, it, but it also allows you to do things like scratch an itch. Okay, scratch your scalp. It allows you to do things like peel stickers, right? It, it's, the thing is, it's a, a nail is made to, is made to where it's not a hardcore piece of hardware like a squirrel has that digs into a tree and helps it to propel itself to propel itself um, up surfaces because it is literally so tough and sharp that it is that it punctures things with incredible ease. You know, those are those are a different type of claw. See, that's that's an animal claw. You know. Um, when they talk about the rake, that's more of an animal claw. That's an animal claw, you know, and, and to rake something's actually the funny thing is, you know, I, I think that's why they even came up with that stupid name. You know, when the, the form of a claw is the same thing as a, a, the form of a rake, you know, a raking motion, you know, like in self-defense, like to scratch someone, you know, you obviously, you have to put your hand in that, in that shape and you have to you have to drop your weight and rake, you know, to claw someone, you know, whether that's in their face or somewhere else, wherever you're dragging your nails acro across them to try to get a, a, you know, a reaction, you know, it's, it's, it's just, you're trying to deter them from something you're trying, or you're trying to get them to make a reaction. That's what that's about. It's the same thing. You know what I mean? Just like to, to, to claw something is almost the same thing as, like I said, scratching an, it's to scratch an itch, but only you're not trying to literally, like, <laughs> you're not trying to, um, to, like, hurt yourself, obviously, so you're not trying to do it with a, a certain amount of force. It's a different type of claw. But the thing is, the significance of the claw. See, what I'm saying is, it is a necessity. It is a, it is a tool... It is a, uh, it is an action of necessity, right? So it's not just like, just, 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 uh, haphazard. See, this is a weird thing. The weird thing about creation in, in general of anything is that there's always, for whatever reason, things always have logic in, uh, in reason to them, which I hate to say it, but see, Christians, I, don't know, I guess I just have to say, Christ, Christians are one of those people, one of those people to where they like to see logic and reason when it suits their narrative or it suits what makes them feel warm and fuzzy on the inside. Like, they're like, oh, you know, God created the birds and he created the, the plants. And the plants bring forth seeds, and the birds eat the seeds, and then they fer also fertilize the ground, which, you know, perpetuates the cycle of the, of the plant, and blah, 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 and so on and so forth, right? But they, you know, they can see, <laughs> they can see logic in that, and they think it's just so beautiful, and oh yeah, see, that proves that, like, you know, God created it, it does, well, it doesn't really, <laughs> it doesn't prove that your God created it, it just proves that something intelligent obviously created it that's what it, it proves you know just just saying <laughs> before you go too fucking deep into it and think you know everything so what i'm saying is they they like to cherry pick and, and, and make themselves feel because this is always what people do they always want to they want to feel warm and fuzzy about some shit but they don't want to face hardcore feelings and hardcore facts and shit like they're like you know they don't want it they don't want to hear that like they don't want to hear the fact that well these beings that you guys call like demonic and all that stuff, there's just as much logic and reason with them as well, right? Obviously, obviously something created them because they're existing. Nothing can just be, that's the thing. Nothing can just exist just because, or, or, or it wasn't created. Like th then it wouldn't be in existence. And the only difference between that is something that maybe what you call like an illusion. Now an illusion is something you can, 
make someone think is there or think is created, but it is, it's an illusion. That, that's what it is. It's simply, yeah, it's an illusion. It's not, it's actually not real. What you're doing is you're trying to trick someone's perception into thinking that something is real, right? So that's something different. But what I'm saying is things that are real, things that are tangible, and things that are physical are, are created for some reason or created by something, someone, are created, right? No, it's, it's no different than anything else. But now I'm, I'm going to go back to the thing about, like, the claw thing. You know, see, that's always looked at... It, this is the thing. People fear things that <laughs> to them seem like it is it poses a threat or is danger, right? So that's the that's the whole that's the whole theme. You know, if something is seemingly dangerous to you, if it's not completely harmless, then there's a potential for danger. Duh. You know, like a duh. <laughs> duh. You know, as another big deal. Kind of, kind of like uh, when I was a couple days ago. See, I, I just recently started learning how to roller, um, to rollerblade, and it's it's not. I wouldn't say it's easy. I would say that certain skills I already had did carry over and did and do help me to learn how to do this a lot like I, I'd be lying if I didn't say that but what I'm saying is that it's not in itself it's not easy and the more advanced you are and the more balanced strong and, and, and you get in stuff there there's crazy things people can actually do with these things you know but I'm not I'm not really trying to get that extreme with it but even if but what I'm saying is it, it's not just easy right but so at one point I was like trying to get up this um this hill and I was like, damn, I don't really know. I should have I should have looked it up on like YouTube or something. I should have seen like how do I try to walk up a hill in these darn rollerblades? I'm like, how the like how do I even <laughs> cause I, I mean, I'm not gonna lie, I was I was struggling. It was because the thing was it was a hill. It wasn't just flat ground. It's like so you're going up a hill. And I'm like th I, I can tell that if I were to just stand completely up that I would like start to slide down or fall or whatever. So I was like, uh, you know, I'm just gonna crawl. And it was dark anyway, so it's not like a lot of people were like uh, looking around and stuff because that would just draw a lot of attention to myself because it would look unusual. Sadly, you know, uh, some people I think did were coming up the sidewalk from like afar, but at that point I didn't care because I'm thinking, well, now I just have to get to where I'm going and it's not that far. But at one point I had to grab a, uh, I don't even know what to call this thing, but it was, it looked like a bush, but it was all thorns. It was literally thick green and it was all thorns and i mean these are the type of thorns that are long like these are these like long almost as the little tips of your fingers type of thorns like i don't even know what what type of what to call these thorns but they're and they're not even they i don't think they were curved thorns either they're just like straight and they just like uh just just stick out and I, you know and and i didn't i purposefully grabbed where the thorns were like spaced better so i didn't get stuck but I had to grab the, I had to grab this thing and I'm looking at it. I'm like thinking, well, gosh, you know what I mean? Like <laughs> what happens if you fall on that? What happens if you like get tangled up in that? You're going to get all stuck up. And you know, my point is, I don't know. I, I'm not now I'll admit that I'm not smart enough or I'm not well versed enough in the knowledge of plants to really understand what a thorn is. I would say maybe it's because it was designed so that animals wouldn't just so easily chew on it and eat and try to just eat the vines. I don't know, but all I know, all I know is they're there for a reason. You know what I mean? That's how I look at things. Like I know, okay, it's, is it dangerous? Yeah, it's it looks dangerous. Is it gonna stick me? Yeah. So I guess I just might not want to. I guess I may not want to play around with thorns, right? Like, just stay away, you know what I mean? Like, be smart and just don't really, don't go near it then, you know, just leave it alone. <laughs> smart, that, that sounds smart, but see, some people want to know a little secret. They're dumb as a bag of rocks, so they would not even get that concept. They're like, let me try my luck, and then they get all stuck up, and then they have to go to, you know, the ER or go home and put the alcohol on it or, you know, or put the brown stuff on the wounds. Like, yeah, because, you know, you decide you want to play in the thorns because you're stupid. You can tell what's going on, but you just want to still think you're going to push your luck. 
and try to come closer anyway, but, you know. See, I had to grab the bush because it was the only thing, like, I, I, I was... I was losing traction, so I had to grab something, so I had to grab part of that. But, uh, back to again what I'm saying about this, this claw thing. It's significant. It has always been significant, right? It has always been significant. Um, and I'm going to kind of tie into that a little bit more. Like, me being a Satanist, I, I clearly learned, I clearly learned very fast as a Satanist. I, I mean, I always knew this anyway. I'm not going to BS. I always knew this from a young age. Of, I knew this when I was a Christian. I knew this um, growing up always is that, you know, there is a, a somewhat, I'll, I'll be real. I mean, there is a somewhat violent aspect spiritually when it comes to satanism in the connection of the man and the beast you know as one like the man beast that that has always been a thing you know um now it could be just as simplified as a person getting angry and uh smashing their mirror you know like you get angry you pick up the chair and hurl across the room and break your mirror you know, and you get mad and bite your girlfriend like Chris Brown, <laughs> you know, uh, which is obviously retarded. Like, why are you biting your girlfriend? Like, you could have just, like, maybe, I'm not condoning this, but, like, maybe you could have just slapped her or something, right? I don't know. I don't know. But you bit her? Jesus Christ. She just, Jesus Christ. Out of control, man. You need to. You need to. Uh, you need to get that shit under control, cause that's out of. <laughs> cause that's out of control, man. If you're, if you're, I mean, it's one thing to go around biting people, because you know you're just like that aggressive, and you're just, and you just don't care, and you're just violent, and you're just like, hey, I'm, I'm biting you, like, screw it, I'm gonna, I'm gonna beat you up as well, but I'm gonna bite you too. It's all going down. I'm just inflicting all types of violence on you. I've seen, and I'm gonna, sh I shit you not, I'm gonna just be real. I've seen someone bite someone in this house on this property. I they I, they weren't inside, but I saw. I looked out the window and I saw this shit. Right? This is what I mean. Out of control. I saw it. <laughs> I saw a man get bitten out in this uh, place on this property by another human being. I saw it, man. I, I shit you not. I shit you not. Just saying. So this is the, you know, like I said, it, it it's not just about like a uh, archetype or whatever. This is just this is just human violence. Like this is just human human violence at its most primal uh, frequency. Like you know, people scratching, and biting each other, as well as battering people into <laughs> comas, into <laughs> literal comas with their hands stomping on them taking their heads and, and repeatedly bashing it back into the ground that they're laying on. See, that's that's what I mean. That That's just that's violence. You know, and that is inherent. That's the thing. You don't have to be a Satanist or an occultist to think like, oh yeah, I'm going to try to... I'm going to try to cultivate that, that beast energy. I'm going to try to... Nah, you probably, you probably already have cultivated it, because you probably bitched your brother, and you probably battered someone already, or whether, whoever that was, you probably did worse. Probably. But, you see my point, right? The significance of things, how symbolism and how, like, symbolic things actually have a connection to things that are very easy and very easily to easily reachable in your existence in your reality within seconds right the problem with most people is they don't make the connection that's the problem that's the difference the difference is they're not consciously just kind of making the connection you know it's just like you hear about these people who have these uh cryptid encounters and they get scared or whatever which may be valid i don't know if it is or it could be i don't know People get scared, people freak out and stuff, but then they have little dogs in the house and the dog is, you know, they're freaking out. The thing outside of the window is freaking out, you know, the dogs are barking, the little the little dogs are barking, the dog's freaking out. 
and they don't realize that that same dog, <laughs> that same stupid little dog that you have in your house that's pooping and pissing, that, that's like your child or whatever, that dog is n almost no different from whatever that freaky thing else is outside your window. It, 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 neither are you, actually. I was thinking, neither is your sorry ass, you know, that, that has, you think you're all pretty and pristine, but you, you're the one who, you know... You got you got a uh, used tampons in your bathroom trash. You have both a vagina and an anus, and you perspire and have funky pits and bad breath and funky feet and all this shit and dandruff. And guess what? That thing outside of your window probably has the same shit, <laughs> like uh, the same shit. It's what the same shit? Reproductive organs, asshole, pooping, pissing, all of that. All of it. All of it. Just like you have. Just like you have. You know what I'm saying? Same heart, same veins, same uh, capillaries, uh, what do you call it? Uh, arteries, all that. Same, the same thing. Not the same, but literally but the same thing. Just like a cow has all that too. We eat cows, right? They probably eat cows too. They probably eat us though. <laughs> that's that's the, the, the funny thing. But you get what I'm saying, right? What I'm saying is all of this, this like uh, separation from things that exist, it doesn't really make sense. It's like, you know, everyone feels super separated from things they don't really know about. Like, it's like, oh, I don't, I don't understand the world of like cryptids, I say with quotation marks, because it's really like, it's not even really a thing. It's not, it's not that it's a world of cryptids. It's just, it's a world that you just haven't entered yet. It's like, we haven't entered yet. It's a world that we're not integrated with yet. That That's all it is, you know? Just like we don't go outside every day, and we don't, we don't have bears in, like, several feet of us every day. It's something we may see once in a blue moon, but we are not integrated with it. Right? We may be integrated with the stupid little cat and dog that you clean up its poop, you know, we're integrated with that. Your ass is integrated with your tampons in your bathroom and the sorry man that you probably sleep next to. You're integrated with that. You're integrated with your little snot-nosed kids. But you're not integrated with other things that are existing that are out there. That's what I mean. You maybe do you, do you know about them? Maybe I don't know. Have you had an interaction with them? P possibly I don't know. You know, but integrated is a different thing. And then also, it's one thing to be integrated with something, but it's also another thing to um, be able to like intelligibly understand and connect. Like you, not. I'm not saying connect, but I'm saying like that you know the connection between that and yourself. Like you understand part of the relationship of okay, that's another being that's like out there. You know, that's another type of humanoid. That's another. It's another type of person. That's another thing. Like it's you know. Instead, don't instead, you know, some people they're like, oh my god, like what is it? It can't, you know, they go through this weird cycle, like it can't be real, but it has to be real because I saw it. Or like it has to be real because I could smell it. It has to be it it wasn't fake, so it it was real. But then they go down this spiral of, oh well then it has to be evil. Or it has to be of an alien origin, with I say with quotation marks, because it's like, what is really alien? How is it, how is something, how is anything alien? You know what I mean? Like, you know, I feel like it, it can't be, it can't be alien if you both are existing at the same time. Like, how is it alien then? Like, I get the point that you haven't seen it yet, you don't really understand. I get that. We all get that. But think really deeper, like, if, is something alien if it was existing at the same time you were? It's not like it just popped into existence because you saw it, right? I mean, that's more far-fetched to believe, right? I mean, you got to think this thing probably had a life cycle, went through puberty, went from a cycle of being a child to an adult, like you, just like you did probably. So obviously it was around. Like, for instance, when you were a kid and you were in your room playing with friggin' Hot Wheels 
and eating Pop-Tarts or whatever the hell you're doing, that thing was probably out somewhere in a cave or, or in the brush or something, throwing pine cones around and acorns on the ground with sticks and was just was probably fiddling around just like you were as a child, probably. And then at some point it developed more and, you know, and became an adult, obviously. You know, so if you're both existing at the same time, how is it really alien, right? How is it so alien if you're resisting at the same time? You know, it's like, you know, that is it's that way with everything else. How come it's not? How come you get all free? That's the thing. Yeah. How come you get so overwhelmed when it comes to like something else? You know, that's the point I'm trying to make with, with that. Um, like, I'll even use myself as an example. I I know that different people have different backgrounds, lifestyles, beliefs, whatever, uh, preferences, and so on and so forth. And do, do, they, do they freak me out or weird me out a little bit sometimes? Like, yeah, sometimes when I, when I see them or think of them or come in contact with them, but it doesn't, it's not to the point to where I am just like per, totally per, perplexed with their existence. Like, no, it's beca because, like I said, I, I know, I've always known certain people exist. I know they exist. It's, it's like, they're there. It is what it is. All right. It's like, they had to develop just like I had to develop as a person at some point. Like they, they must've went through the same stages of growth that I went through, right? Like they went through like a child stage, a teen stage, they went through puberty, they went, they became a man or a woman, right? Everyone like goes through a, duh, like this is what people do. This is right. Like you watched your cat, obviously you probably watched your cat or dog go from like a puppy to this, to that. And like, so, you know, that had to happen. It didn't just like pop into existence just because you saw it, right? That's what I'm trying to say. So, back to the claw thing. Everything is has a significance, right? And not only just that, but I... Well, I'm trying to think, should I even talk about this? Because some people get all, like, you know, they, they, get, all, they get all freaked out or they get all, um, all judgmental because they're pussies, actually. <laughs> so, you know, I'm going to go there. I'm, I'm, yep, I'm going to go there. Because really, it's because you're pussies is really how I look at it. So... Sacrifice. That's another thing. Sacrifice. Yeah, I said it. I'm going there. So, you know, people people get so freaked out when we talk about, like, sacrifice or sacrifices, right? Like, you know, oh my god, there's sacri human sacrifice. Look, man, we've been doing human sacrifices for so long that it's not even... Different cultures, different cultures have been doing human sacrifices for a long time. It may be different now, but before we got so prissy and pretty and, and, and got all soft, it was a thing. And it was done for certain reasons. It was done for certain reasons. Sometimes people went willingly and sometimes they didn't. Sometimes it was, it was enemies they were using for that and then sometimes it wasn't. So, but it was a thing. Right. <laughs> so it's not above. And I, I'm saying this within reason. It's because because obviously there's reason and logic. You, you, unless you're a complete maniac, you know that there is border there. There's barriers and, and borders. And, you know, you can't just like, well, maybe you can. But I, I'm going to say I wouldn't advise. I'm not <laughs> I'm not for people just going crazy and doing anything and everything. What I'm trying to say is this is that sacrifice has been a thing. Okay. It still is a thing. Actually. Now I'm trying to think I'm really thinking of it. It actually still is in certain places in the world. It still is a very kind of a common thing. Sacrificing things, not really people so much as, but sometimes I'll still say in some places, and I know this, this is not me thinking this. I actually, I know this thing. Some places. Yes people are sa sacrificed. <laughs> yes, there are human sacrifices, actually. You know, for various reasons. You know, it is what it is. The animal sacrifices, that's kind of like, duh. 
that's more see in america some people are more a little more lenient they're like eh, okay i get it some people wanted to do this or do that and you know animal sacrifice okay so now someone will say oh you're supposed to be a satanist i thought you guys are against that look man I am, but I am Satanist. But what I'm saying is, I be, I still believe that there's certain things that you just may have to do certain things, and I'm not against them. Oh my God, judge me if you will. You know, it's like I'm not completely against certain things, you know, at all, because I see the significance of them. That's the thing. Just like some of these animal animal sacrifices, I don't I don't have any problem with this this stuff. And matter of fact, I would say, you know, if that's what you need to get done. Because you need to you need to do certain thing. Well, then that's what you have to do, and it's not some brutal. This is the thing too. People need to understand. A sacrifice isn't always some like brutal thing that you like have to purposely or purposefully inflict torment on. No, no, no. Sometimes it's just a fast, quick thing. You know, they they kill the animal quickly, as humanely as they can, because that's the point. It's not it's 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 the blood that they want. It's certain things that they need. It's it's not that they it's not the actual suffering really of the animal that they're going for. It's just the animal is the ne the necessity. The slaughtering of the animal is a necessity, so it has to be done. <laughs> you know, that's what it is. It's like it it, it has to be done. It's not no because you just want to do this because you're just sick and twisted. And you're just demented and you just want to no it's because it needs to be done that's what a lot of things were a lot of things actually were like i'll say again before all of us got so soft and turned into little pussies and sissy men and sissy women and all that before everybody got to be such freaking sissies people understood that like okay this we need this we need to do this and this is what's going to be done right point blank and period that simple right some people find it hard to really get into that mo that mental me it's ex incredibly easy i'm gonna explain that too you know why it's incredibly easy for me to be inhumane so-called like that or to, th to think like that it's from suffering it's because in my life i was and i and i actually am grateful for this i'm actually really grateful for this i was never in my life until this to this day i've never been in a position in my life to where Every day wasn't uh, some type of like struggle where it wasn't like, you know, I had to like uh, struggle because I had to get food or right? I had to figure out like how I was going to actually eat or it was like, um, even to the smallest degree, like if it's just leisure, you know what I mean? Like if I'm thinking, man, I'm, I'm incredibly bored. How am I going to find this video game or, or whatever when I was younger it was toys? You know, how am I going to find whatever this thing is that I want that I need to feel stimulated to have the right uh, chemical balance to feel, uh, what's the word, to feel satisfied and to feel calm. You know what I mean? So where it's not like I feel like a crazed, rage, angry maniac that wants to hurt every living person and thing because i'm not pleased you know what i mean and that's that's kind of the way i am i mean that's not i'm not gonna say it's me in a nutshell but I, I i'll admit that that is largely the type of person i am you know it's like i'm thinking well if i'm not happy not that i'm going to make everyone suffer but i will want to make everyone suffer and hurt everything around me you know what i mean because that's just the way i am i don't have any problems with that i don't i don't really don't give no <laughs> no craps about that. I mean, someone will say, oh, that's horrible. You need to change that. No, no, no. No, what, what you need to change is, first off, zip it. Shut your mouth before I knock your block off, number one. Number two, what I need to change is the fact that I'm not in the situation that I want exactly right now. And until that changes, heads are going to roll. You get what I'm saying? That's simple as that. That's the way I am, right? I have no care about that. <laughs> I have no, I have, now it's not something I would just tell like a girl that I liked or something or like, well, you know, I'm not going to just go telling people that because then they're going to think so many other things and they're going to look at it wrong. They're going to be like, oh, you sound like a horrible person. I don't think I could even ever consider even trusting you. No, it, it's not that. 
it's just that I don't have that like little sissy boy mentality of like, oh, well, this person may need this more or maybe, you know, maybe, uh, me, no, 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 this, this, this is no, maybe nothing. This is, this is, yo, get just get the shit done how I want it done. Make the shit how it's supposed to be or else I'm going to get fucking pissed off and then there's going to be consequences, right? Duh. I mean, think of it this, think of it like this. Have you ever smashed something in your house that was simply just yours, but you were just so mad that you just like, like you couldn't take it out on anyone but yourself, so you just broke something? It's the same thing. The only difference is I'm starting to look at people like as if that I may want to like take out that on them. You know what I mean? Duh. It's like, have you ever been bitten by a child before? <laughs> it sounds weird, but like, I'm sure it's happened to many of you. You probably got bitten by your own child before. It probably got pissed off and bit you or slapped you or something. And it, it, it made you like shake your head twice. Like, right? did, did my own, did, did he just slap me? Yeah, he just fucking slapped you because he's fucking got mad. You he got frustrated. You told him some dumb shit like, oh, pick up your toys or do this or do that. Or you interrupted or you, you tried to do something. Or a girl, you know, and, and they fucking slapped you. <laughs> you know why they slapped you get this they slapped you because their arm was long enough that's why they slapped you. you duh it's like you get it do you get it it's like they slapped you because one it was instinctual two they never had the shit be out of them before so they've never been they've never had to realize like oh uh, um maybe i really shouldn't do that again maybe that's not the route i want to take to uh, get what I want or get things done because maybe I don't want to get fucked up again. See, this is how things really are. This is what I mean. This isn't that sugar-coated nonsense people try to tell you or try to like... And trust me, some of you people are listening, you know what I'm talking about. You know. You lived in a household to where it's not that your parents were abusive, but what it is is that they showed you that they showed you that there is a consequence for your actions. Like, you bite me, motherfucker. Okay. You know, or you do this, okay, or you talk like this, oh, okay. And then there's a consequence, right? Very similar things. So, you get what, you get my point. It's like, this isn't no, uh, <laughs> this isn't no hippy dippy bullshit. This isn't no, oh, you know, this person, because this is a problem. When you take on that, that, uh, when you take on that whole aspect of that virtue stuff, like, you're like, Oh, you know, oh, this, this person is so, you're really, what you're really saying to yourself is this, you're saying that this person is so special. Think of really how it sounds, really. You're, you're saying that this person is so special that you should not, um, you should not inflict X, Y, Z, like, like on this person. Like, it's like saying, oh, you know what, um. It's just not worth it. It's too harsh. No, it's not worth it if you go to jail. It's not worth it if literally, like, your girl leaves you because she thinks you're a monster or something. It's not worth it if, like, that person actually didn't deserve the hell that you gave them. Then I would say it's not It's not worth it. You know what I mean? Like, no, it's not worth it. Like, for instance, if someone is, it's, it's like, petty, it's, it's small... Duh, you're not going to do something drastic to someone or hurt them. Or like, no, you're not going to go because then you're a fucking maniac, obviously, and, and you probably should be in jail or somewhere else. What I'm saying is, you know, to have a natural anger, like just a natural anger because stuff is bullshit. And I was, I really didn't want to curse, but it's really hard to like get, it's hard to explain these things any other way. You know, it's really hard to explain heavy, true concepts in the in like uh because this is i hate this like you, you know this is what i mean about you know the bullshit it's like youtube they want you to be a little pussy they want you to talk like yeah you know um eh. no no it, that's not that's not reality that is not that's not reality <laughs> you know that is nothing in reality actually that is for toddlers that is if i'm talking to like little tiny little kids and no you guys are fucking adults <laughs> you guys are fucking, this is not you aren't children none of us are children so, if you want to, if you want to suck your thumb and um, do all that shit, then just leave. Then just leave this channel. Go somewhere else where you can fucking suck your little thumb. 
right? You're not doing that on my channel. So what I'm saying is to have a healthy anger in disdain for stuff that is bullshit, knowing that you deserve better is natural and actually healthy. <laughs> That's what I'm really trying to say about that. It's actually healthy and it's, it's natural. And if you're a man, it's even better and even healthier and even more natural, right? That's how us as like a, even a human being as, as, a, as a race and species even became so great as we are. Because like I said, you fuck around, especially men, you know, you, you fucking piss someone off, piss a man off. And, 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 you know, he goes a certain route. After that shit happens, a point was made. You know what I'm saying? A point was fucking made. And when I say a point was made, I mean a hard lesson could be learned easily. Hard lessons could be learned. It's just like, for instance, someone could say some slick shit. Or I'll give you, give you an example of what could, what could easily happen to someone, right? <laughs> this could easily happen. Someone says some slick shit, right? <laughs> Like, you know, people say shit that they think, like, they think was going to blow over okay. They didn't think you are going to turn to a monster on them and assault them and all this shit. Right? They didn't think was, you were going to take it to that level. So they thought they would say something smart, right? And think that they were being slick or whatever. And they, if, if it worked out how they wanted, they'll pat themselves on the back. Like, yeah, I stuck it to him. Like, I said, I said this. And, you know, yeah. Right? No, nah, no. Nah. And then it, it doesn't happen like that. And, like, let's say this person, it's a barely even a tussle because, like, by the time that this person can realize what's happened, you have already arm dragged this person. You have already got a lock on their body. You have already somewhat tackled them up into and against a wall, scooped their fucking legs up, brought them to the ground, and you are already elbowing, kicking, kneeing, battering. This person's already being fucked up that fast, right? All they did was say something in a, in a small prox in you know a, a very small space there could nest it could be like stairs or something it could be anything it could be in a bathroom it could be somewhere very tight right and you are already fucking this person up right you're already you're already planning all the shit you're going to attempt to do to them you're going to try to frame keep them out of a distance you're going to try to choke them you're going to right and you're ultimately probably thinking you know what when they get really helpless i'm probably going to stomp on them i'm probably going to keep hitting them in the face you know, I'm going to kick them. I may even bite them, whatever, whatever, right? Now, when the person comes at, oh, out of this, right? Like, after the fact, rattled, hurt, this or that or whatever, right? Maybe even you shove them off of something. Like, you know, some people, they, they underestimate how weak they are. And they think they're strong. They think they're this. They underestimate the... um integrity of their legs and this and that whatever whatever and <laughs> some people don't handle falls too well if you know what i mean now when you fall and like if you fall a wrong way and you break your fucking arm because that can happen you know what i mean or you fall and like you simply just twist your ankle or whatever or your wrist or whatever because you're trying to like um you're trying to post you know what i mean and you're trying to post but you're also thinking oh man this person's probably going to start kicking me you know what I mean? They're probably, you, when all that shit is happening after the motherfucker that got fucked up, right? This is what I mean. That said the slick shit that thought they were slick and all this dumb shit, right? <laughs> when you didn't say, oh, it's not worth it. Oh, you know, it's not. And you thought, actually, no, wait, there's no cameras here. Huh. No, it doesn't mean that someone's going to be able to see this and call the cops or, oh, wait. And you fuck that person up, right? This is what I mean. A point was made. <laughs> it doesn't have to take no. Oh, you know, sitting down having a conversation. It doesn't have to take a fucking whole paragraph with like uh, selected picked words that are like PC and this and that or that and that or you know little things here and there that are like supposed to be uh warm and fuzzy words that don't make people get mad or get this or get uh, offended in this it doesn't take no words at all after that shit after that shit you get the fucking point right that's my point it's like when i was a kid and i did some dumb shit or tried to be slick and then i got picked up slapped up slapped upside the head yoked up whatever the fuck happened spankings Whatever, when I when I completely realize, like, oh man, there's not a 
snowball's chance that I could really uh, fight back with these people, these adults. It's like it fucking makes a point. You get what I'm saying? It, it, there's no, it doesn't have to be this, oh, you know, humane. That's the thing, this whole humane, like, it, th there's a difference between humane and just bullshit. And see, the thing about me is I know what's all, what's bullshit. You know, I'm not into playing these games of all this. Uh... Now, I'll tell you this is that obviously I'm not going to tr be trying to get myself in trouble and, and trying to get in trouble with the law and trying to start trouble but I don't agree. Here's a little secret. I'll give you a little secret. I'm not the person who agrees with like a lot of these laws and things and that that protect people. That was funny. Did you did you guys did you hear that shit? That was funny. That was funny. Man. That was funny. Somebody's outside screaming. But like I said, I don't agree with a lot of these laws like that protect people. Because <laughs> that's why you do like you're protecting people and emboldening people to be little pussies and act a fool so they can like pat themselves on the back because they should have got worse and should have got punished. But instead, they got away with being a fucking little uh, I don't even know what to call it to being a, a uh, troublemaker in a coward that's that's where i'm looking at that's where i'm looking for like a coward because see the thing with a what about a coward is this a coward does things and the thing is they they know or think that there's no repercussions so what they're trying to do is they're trying to get over on someone you know it's it's like they're trying to do sly things you know they're being cowardly they're being conniving you know and then sometimes ultimately it comes all piles down on them and they meet a brick wall and it's like okay um i'm gonna get punished for this and then it happens you know and they get fucked up you know i've seen that type of shit my whole life especially where i'm from you know in bridgeport where <laughs> someone was doing the same stupid shit over and over playing the same game getting over on certain people and then one person just out of the blue got them right that's the way life works. But what I'm not a fan of and I don't believe in, I don't believe in this whole, oh, hold your hand, baby talk you, oh, cute, cuddly, sweet. No, 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 no. Not that, that doesn't, all that does is give you a false understanding of reality. <laughs> That's what it does. It gives you, it gives you a false sense of security. It gives you a false sense of anything, like just a, a false, a false reality, you know? Um, that's, that's the way I look at it. So I, I don't, it's, I don't believe in that bullshit. Dude. I, 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 I like it. I'll, I'll, don't get me wrong. I know there's rules. Like I know YouTube has rules. I know this, everything has rules, right? But I don't, I don't agree with it. That's how I'll put it. I just don't agree with it. You know, I agree with, uh, free speech. Say what you need to say, say what you want to say and be be don't be a complete maniac you know what i mean like <laughs> you know because th there's a difference see what the problem is is that people nowadays have this theme going to where what's natural what's actually natural is they try to make you sound like you're the maniac like you're the crazy you're the crazy person you know um you're just the most crazy person living in our little perfect world like our little area our little world our little thing is is just just so perfect and so um uh what's the word it's 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 so not malevolent and it's just so innocent and you're you're just hot-headed and crazy and out of control <laughs> when when really that's like so far from the truth it's not even fucking funny you know so Like I was saying before, things come out of necessity, right? And there's a place for everything. So you have to look at these symbolisms. You have to look at these uh, things that are deemed as dark and this and that and demonic. You know, <laughs> I, I love when people say that. They, they just... It's overused at this point to me. You know, they say 
sat satanic and demonic and this and that and there's over you know overuse it on overuse the term on everything <sighs> maybe that's true you know like i'm not even arguing with certain things that people say like i'm not arguing i'm not arguing that um certain things are like negative kind of because there's two sides there's actually it's, it's not just black and white there's actually a gray area with that i'm not arguing certain things but there are certain things that i have to argue because <laughs> it's only a half truth that's what i'm trying to say it's only a it's only a half truth if i don't argue the other side and that's not what i'm about i'm not about like half truths i'm about whole truths i'm about uh explaining things from a perspective that maybe some people were just ignorant to because what you know when you're you're like you're ignorant to something it means you 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 think like you think you know but you actually don't know like you're missing way more information than you think you know because you think you know all of it but no you actually you're only seeing one side of it you're not seeing the uh the other side right just saying I'm just saying that. I'm going to kind of use an example about, about that. Okay, so, vegans, right? And I'm coming at you again. I'm going to be like, why are you coming? Co yeah, I'm coming at vegans again. Because, like, I don't know what it is. Every time I, I, uh, every time I seem to say something about vegans or whatever, someone has something to say. Someone has some dumb shit. Dumb shit. Not every time, but just... Just, I feel like generally, when us as people, just people in general, when we speak speak on vegans in a negative way, or a vegan diet, somehow, some person always finds a way to come out of the woodworks with some bullshit. So, uh, you know, I'm going to say, like, so for, for instance, vegans, right? Vegans have this thing where they'll say things like, well, you know, it's a healthy diet because... The human body can't digest uh, meat anyway, and it really wasn't designed to digest meat. And then also, you gotta realize that we are omnivores, not carnivores. And <laughs> you know, they they go through all this crazy spiel. They're like, well, you know, if your if your digestion is good, then the everything your body, you know, your health is good, and blah blah, blah and you know all this it's like you're really it's like okay okay i get what you're i get what you're saying right like i, I get it i i get it i've even heard someone go on like more the, the spiritual they, they even have more sort of a spiritual logic behind it they're like well a human is an enlightened being and by virtue of a human being a god being and an enlightened being a god being in a divine being never has to slaughter or murder another being to sustain itself. The only way that that's possible is if you've fallen into a degraded state of existence. And now that because you believe that you need to survive by eating this, you know, quote, meat, that is a substance of a dead being, which has been slaughtered, by that virtue, you, you know, you are a fallen being and that's why you need it's like <laughs> i'm like oh my oh my fucking god like you're making me like you're making my head hurt now with saying that you make my, my head is hurting like you just because now even if that was true right like i'm not gonna say that that's kind of not i'm not gonna say that's not entirely entirely uh what's the word i'm not saying that part of that isn't really true because Okay, I'll give you that. Yes, I actually believe that if we had the right technology, if human evolution in design and everything else was steered in a certain direction, because it would have to be steered, in my opinion, I do believe at some point, yes, human beings could be a being that does not need to, per se, eat meat, obviously, like any other thing. But that's not, I don't believe that that's the way it is. Like, I don't believe that, okay? I also don't believe that there's any living human in existence that at this state that we are now with our genetics, I don't believe that by any willpower or, or anything that you, I'm saying you being the human being yourself, because if you have influence by other things, 
in other type of forces and stuff, yes, you could accomplish almost anything. Yes, you could, you wouldn't have to eat and whatever, but that would take, I think that would take an, probably an astronomical amount of like force or whatever you want to call it. <laughs> why? The point would be fucking why? Like what, what would invest that much interest in you that it would actually give you that much power to not be able to eat? Like what's the fucking point? What? So you can save cows? Fuck them cows. I'm sorry, but god damn. There's enough fucking cows in the world for... Fuck those fucking cows, man. Now, do I care that the cows are suffering or not? Do I want them to be in humane conditions? Yes. But is it more important to me that I need to eat and that I build muscle and that I'm strong and that I'm... uh? capable and fertile and if i even wanted to have a child that i could easily have one and that i uh, can be attractive enough to have a woman to even have a child with i'll slaughter every damn cow in this world and torture every last one of them if i had to to get what i just said does that make it clear enough for you i don't give a fuck about these cows <laughs> i don't give a fuck if these cows had human faces on them read between those lines. I don't give any fucks. Just saying, but that's just me, though. That's just me. I'm just saying, you know. That's just the point I'm trying to make. The point I'm really trying to make is it's not black and white like that. So there's so much gray area in between there that I think you can't just say certain things about a vegan diet. I can't. I think you really just can't. I don't, I don't think you can just come out now, you can say what you want, but I mean, with an actual truth, like, actual truth, I don't believe that half of the shit that you're saying is, is true about that. Like, no, come on, man. I mean, look at it this way, man. Have you ever seen an athlete that is not using steroids? Because if you use steroids, there's certain weird things that you can accomplish that it's not natural, but it can be accomplished. Like, for instance, certain types of strength, muscle growth, Yes, that can be accomplished eating vegan in, on steroids at the same time. I've seen it before, it's, it can, it's a thing, but that's not natural. Because the half of the gains are from the stinking steroids. You know, Jesus Christ. So, I'm just saying, look here. I always use the term, if it ain't broke, don't fix it, right? Don't waste your time with, like I said, I always say it's, it's always these little, like, virtuous, self-righteous, virtuous type of sissy things that are always getting people wrapped up in a bind. It's always that. It's always some dumb shit that you decided you want to do or think because you care so much about some animal or some person or something, and you always take this goddamn sissy, hippy-dippy, self-righteous virtue signaling whatever this virtue route you always take that route and then you get fucked up <laughs> it's just stupid it's just stupid and uh yeah that that's why you know i mean this channel i i, I always try to really uh stress that on this channel that this channel is not that type of channel this channel is a is a uh this is a Duke Nukem channel. <laughs> I just have to say, I mean, someone's be like, I'm going to look up Duke. I bet you there's not even a man trying to girl there. She's like, I'm going to look up Duke Nukem. I don't know who that is. <laughs> I'm, going to, I'm going to look up Duke Nukem so I understand what Duke Nukem is. This is a Duke Nukem type of channel. This this channel is just that, you know, no no fucks are given, and it is what it is. And we're having a good time on this channel, right? This this is like. We're, you're supposed to be having a good time at the same time. We're having a good time. This is not a mopey or sappy or this isn't, no, no, we're not moping around. This is, we are who we are on this channel and we give no fucks. That's what this channel is. It's that we are who we are on this channel and we don't give a fuck. Right? <laughs> Matter of fact, you could go S a D. I, I, I almost don't want to say it, but I feel like the algorithm's gonna get, get, get me if I say it a certain way. You know, you can go S the, the fat D, you know what I'm saying? You can go, you can go S the D because uh, we give no Fs on this channel, right? We give no Fs on this channel! <laughs> this is a Duke Nukem channel. 
this is a Madison Lee channel. You know, you guys are like, who's Madison Lee? <laughs> you know, you, you guys know who, what Felon Productions is? This is a Felon Production Madison Lee type of channel. This channel is nasty. This is, this is lewd. This is, this is lewd and crude, right? When I say lewd, I mean, this is buck wild, nasty, and crazy. This is nasty, right? This is, this is a nasty channel. Now, I'm going to go a little bit into that before I really close. I'm going to go in a little into it. So another thing that I like about this channel and I also pride myself on is the fact of, uh, of being completely, not, not depraved, I don't like the word depraved because depraved makes me think that depraved sounds like you are like deprived of something. Like that you're some sorry motherfucker who you're not getting enough of this or that so then you have to like become a pervert or something. No, this channel is about proudly, proud. <laughs> it's about proudly being vile and being uh, what's the word? Uh, I'm trying to think of the name. Uh, what do I really? How do I, how do I say it? Uh, it's about being proudly lewd. That's what about being crude. That that's one of those main words I'm saying. Yeah, being crude, being lewd, being vile, aggressive. <laughs> being violent, vile, and aggressive, rude, and crude, and proudly, <laughs> proudly reveling th in those things that people are calling you toxic for, calling you this and that, and saying this and that, kind of like Whitney Wisconsin. I don't know if you guys know, remember Whitney Wisconsin, but kind of like, kind of like what she tried to do. Like, I don't know if she passed. I think she may have failed. She went to jail or whatever. But I'm not gonna say I agree with it either. I'm sad that she went to jail. But I don't know. They say you do the you do the uh, crime, you do the time. So, <laughs> but this channel is about that. Is about no motherfucker. I am the nastiest motherfucker on YouTube. No fuck you. I don't care what. No no. I am. Not. It's not that you thought I was. No motherfucker. I am. I am that vile. I am that nasty. It is what it is. It is what the fuck it is. <laughs> so, this is about the, 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 uh, being proud in the vileness, right? Being, being proud in the vileness. Being down with the sickness. <laughs> like that song. So, you know, uh, I, I, I don't know, I may even do something, depending on how this, if this channel really gets how I want it to get, I, I may even do something kind of weird, like I may even say, hey, I want you certain people to send me in, send me in a, um, email, or send me a letter, like, or email, telling one of your most, it, what's the word, uh, fuck, I'm trying, what, what is it called, uh, confession, that's where, yeah, yeah. so, c send me a video confessing your most vile, nasty, <laughs> lewd act that you reveled in and got away with it or some shit like that. Like, cause I, I, I kind of really, I feed off of that energy depending on what it is. Cause like, it could be something really nasty. Like, it could be like a girl, well, I'm just gonna make this up. Maybe it's never happened. Let's just say hypothetically. It could be like a girl could be like, oh yeah, you know what's the nastiest thing I ever did was, um, I was on my, uh, I was on my period and, uh, I was working in a, I'm not going to say where, but I was working in the kitchen and there was this person that I really didn't like for whatever reason, or, or it doesn't make it even worse, because this time, I kind of like this one. I'll be like, oh, well, you know, my boyfriend, um, he was a real asshole and, you know, he, uh, didn't appreciate me, blah, 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 he was this and that, and, you know, I was planning on leaving him, but I needed a push, you know, I just needed something to throw me over the edge and then... You know, so I met this guy, I met this other guy, and fuck it, I'm just, I'm just gonna say it, cause this is my channel, so I'm just gonna make it even more of where you work, I'll be like, matter of fact, he was a black guy, <laughs> like myself, you know, I'll be like, you know, he, he, he was a, he was a black guy, uh, you know, I could tell that, like, it wasn't that my, um, uh, it wasn't that my ex-boyfriend was really, really racist, particularly, it was just that, of all things, I don't think he would ever expect me to cheat nor to leave him for a black man. 
Um, and I admit that when every any time we would ever like watch TV or something, or maybe there was like a, a black celebrity or something that I liked, I would always play it down, play it really weak around him. So you know, just because I had already had my eye on this guy or whatever. And then, you know, supposedly things went like this and like this, and she say some shit like, well, what I did was, you know, the first time that I hung out with this guy and blah blah happened, and, you know, I, I, I cheated. I didn't leave him first, I actually cheated, and then, uh, you know, months after, then, then I broke up finally, and I completely left, but, you know, if she told me some shit, like, let's say if she told me some shit that she would, uh, do some, uh, some real, some real dirty shit, like, she would, like, put spit or some shit, or she would put her <laughs> nasty period fingers in certain things, you know, and, uh, and, and oh yeah, and, and let's say she said, uh, he really was sensitive about that, and that was one of the grossest things, he, he hated it when I had a period, you know, we would never, we would never, uh, sleep together when I was on it, but when I cheated on him, I actually was on it, with, uh, you know, some crazy, some crazy shit, some, suppose that, you know, the, the, uh, how do they say it, the, um, the grimy shit, you know, that's the, the, the grimy shit that, like, makes people just cringe. <laughs> like, you nasty bitch, how the fuck could you do that? You did that to your man, blah, blah, blah. That's the shit that I'm talking about, right? That's what I'm talking about. So, uh, yeah. Now, maybe that will never be on this channel. I don't know. Because it depends. It depends. Maybe I can't get away with it at some point. I don't know. I, that would actually be a good thing. If I couldn't get away with something like that being on this channel, like those type of true stories or uh, letters or emails, re re reading them off that people would send in, then that would mean that I was doing good. If, that that was, would mean I'd be doing good if I could have a channel that actually was critiqued to that point to where things like that would not fly. What I, I told you guys what I'm into before. Would, would I like to have that on this channel? Of course. I would love to see that on this channel. You know? <laughs> like, I I love those type of stories. I, I just do. I love those type of stories, man. Matter of fact, those are the type of stories that are good um, storylines for things like, you know, like the adult film. You know, like the uh, dog fart type of films. It's, it's those type of storylines. So this is going on way too long. Fuck this. This, uh... <laughs> this rant's gone on too long. I mean, this is gonna be one of the last, I think, rants. I'm just gonna keep it raw. Right? I, I think this is gonna be one of those rants. Because things may change. So, enjoy it while it lasts. So, this is your host, Steve, from the back. Uh, like, comment, and sub. And, you know, like I said before, remember this in the beginning, remember the significance of the claw. When you see the claw next time, or you see the form of the claw, or you got a mosquito bite or whatever, remember the significance of the claw. <laughs> and don't go! I'm just gonna say advise, that not, not advise this, but advise that. Don't go! Because if some of you guys and some of you girls, I know some of you guys out here too, or these clawing types, like myself, that you just go around clawing, you just go around clawing things, because you just, you just, that evil, like, you just do that, you're just that evil, that it's just seething, you know, the evil is just seething through your body, and, <laughs> you're, you're, this is an inside joke, but, you know, I can't control it, you know, the inside, you know, you just, you just can't control it anymore, you just start clawing shit, <laughs> things just start clawing things. Don't go claw. Don't go clawing your girlfriend's butt cheek. <laughs> don't go clawing your girlfriend's butt cheek. And you've only known her for like a couple days. <laughs> she's gonna think it's weird, or she's gonna mis mistake it. Don't go claw. Don't go clawing anybody. Just off the rip. <laughs> develop, develop a, develop some uh, understanding with them, so they don't freak out when you start clawing shit. <laughs> <laughs> or they, or they may be, or, or not God forbid, but let's just, just, just maybe they may be the, uh, the target of the claw. Just saying. Just saying. So, that's.
that's the rant, man. Remember the significance of the claw? Remember, remember the significance of the form of the claw? <laughs> and remember the significance of the rake. And remember the significance of the claw. There you go. And, uh, like I said, like, sub, share. I mean, I don't know, could you call this a cryptid rant? Eh, yeah, go ahead, I'll go ahead and call it a cryptid rant. It's, it, you can call it a philosophical rant, but it, it's, it, yeah, it's a cryptid rant at the same time. So, there you go, man. And, um, I also have to ask, right before I cut this shit off, uh, if any of you out there really want to see more of the Grady and the, uh, the, the, uh, <laughs> The, what do they call it? The grimy and the shysty. Do you guys, you guys want to see more of that uh, content? Or you want to talk about, uh, se you know, send in your most rude, most vile, most crude stories, whatever you want to, that you got away with or whatever, or whatever you want to, if you want that type of content on this channel, please let me know. Please let me know. Because this channel is that at the same time. Don't think because it's called art and fun that it's like kid. This is no kid shit. This is adult shit. On this channel is, adult, is an adult channel. Just, just saying. It's, it's, it's supposed to be an adult channel. Now I try not to break the rules because you're not supposed to break certain rules, but it is still an adult channel. I mean, you should see some of the shit that I recently just bought for the sake of just the sake of the kink, right? I'm not gonna just bust out with it because I'm not gonna. It's, things are supposed to be a surprise, so I'm not just gonna like just just tell you. But look here, this is this is a kink channel. This is not no. Just so we know already, right? This is this is the dog fart, <laughs> dog fart. Fuck it, I'm already cursed enough, so I'm just gonna say this is the dog fart BBC dick and white chicks down channel, right? This is about some shit like in some BDSM and satanic shit, and still a cryptid channel. Okay, so. No disrespect to the Cryptid Brothers, because I really love that channel, and I think those are some really good guys on the channel, even though they, they're Christian, you know, you know, but they really are, they're good people, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to lie, I'm not going to say, just because I disagree with their religious beliefs that they're bad people, no, they're really good people, but this is not the Cryptid Brothers, okay, <laughs> this is not, this is, this is not the channel where the guy talks about being in the woods, in, in, in that he says, hey, kids watch this channel, so don't curse. No, 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 no. Kids do not watch this channel, kids. I'm sorry. I tried to make this more of a kid-friendly channel at one point, and I feel like there was little success. I tried to make some of the Mugen of gameplay vids kid-friendly, where there's no cursing, and I had a playlist that was called, uh, what was it called? Oh, it was called, it's called Kid-Friendly Gaming, right? And it's supposed to be like, because I, I tried that, but you know what? <laughs> If that's a thing, that's the only thing that kids are going to be able to watch on this channel, possibly, is that kid-friendly gaming shit. And, I, and I'm not, I, try, I tried to do that because it was the only content I could create, because, because I really didn't have a lot of people to do anything else, and I still don't, so... But don't get me wrong, this channel is supposed to make you laugh, this channel's adult humor, this channel is adult, this channel is kink! This channel is goth, this channel is grunge, this channel is hip-hop, this channel is porn, this channel is nasty, right? This is supposed to be a nasty channel. I told you already, I told you a thousand times, but I'm just trying to reiterate that. So, don't come on this, I'm, not, I'm just telling you, don't come on this channel thinking that you're not going to get your feelings hurt, man. Because, <laughs> look, man, you're, you are going to get your feelings hurt. Don't, just don't even look into it. I'm telling you, don't look into it if you're soft. If you're too soft, or you're racist or something, you don't want to hear a black man talk about dicking white bitches down. You don't want to talk, you don't want to hear this type of shit. Don't go, don't come on, don't go to this channel, don't come on this channel. Do not come on this channel. I'm telling you, if you're too sensitive in any way, just don't fuck with this channel. Don't. Just don't. I'm giving you the warning. This is your trigger warning. Right? This is the trigger warning. Don't. Just don't do it. Because you're gonna get you're gonna probably leave in tears. You're probably gonna be in tears and all that shit. And um I don't I don't want that type of attention, you know, from you motherfuckers that are like that. So 
you know, this has been fun. This has uh, been a buck wild and crazy rant as always. And uh, have a nice night.